and we are ready to uh, open up Village for the second time. The meeting place in the festival where you can come together, have a drink, grab a show, catch up with friends. And that of course is the real festival hub. One of the highlights of the village is always a big installation that people can engage with. Last year we had the amazing sacrilege, the bouncy castle in the form of Stonehenge. This year we've commissioned a new work from Dublin-based street artist Massa. Massa is a graffiti artist that makes these works that live between graphical work and 3D installation. And for us, he's building a work that will be inspired by the amazing graphical designs of MC Escher, the Dutch artist of the impossible staircases and the impossible waterfalls. It's called Higher Ground, and it's gonna be a three-story high play space for kids and adults alike, where you can obviously walk the work and climb the work and Instagram it and make your selfies and do all the things you would want to do with a summer playground activity. But it's also going to be a beautiful work to look at from a distance. It's about engaging the audience, you know, rather than just looking at a painting. Get involved in the painting, be a part of its environment. So I, I treat these as like three-dimensional, large-scale paintings so that people can become a part of it. For a lot of reasons, you know, it stemmed from 15 years of painting, but it's sort of the idea of letting them take ownership of space. So I'd like to try and create these little labyrinths or hyper-realities so people can escape in for a few minutes. This is where I've gone from a graffiti background, street art background, and I guess that's because when you painted graffiti, you want your piece to stand out. You also want a continuity in style so that you can have a story, because everyone needs a story to follow, so you'll quite distinctly know that this is mine. The piece is called Higher Ground. Visually, like that pattern work is something I've been doing right back when I first started doing graffiti on canvas to sort of try and control the medium with spray paint to almost look like it's not spray paint. So I've kept with that graphic language. So I want to take it to the next level. So literally that's what we're doing, like take it up a level so people can go up on another floor. And because there's an outdoor space, a large space, I thought it was a good opportunity to do it. We're just in this rented warehouse at the moment, and it's just really what we want to do it here is because of time constraints, you know, in Hyde Park, you can't just be treating that like a building site. And then it's also a controlled environment. So we have all the tools, it's dry, we don't need to worry about weather. The core structure of it is 40 foot containers. So we need to build it here and then deassemble it and then reconstruct it on site. Been building for like two weeks and then painting for 10 days. And then that's the cutoff point. Let everything settle, dry, lacquer's dry, and then deconstruct, ship it then to Hyde Park, rebuild and retouch. I want the general public to enjoy it because it's public art, it's not in a gallery. But, you know, I want someone young or old to just come and just take it at face value if they want. If they just look at it, it's this big structure that they find aesthetically pleasing. And that's all they take from it, great. If someone else gets more from it and goes through it and can understand the idea of integrating with art, that's even better. But I just don't want it to be intimidating. It's the first time ever building something on such a large scale, having to deconstruct it and remove it. Uh, so we'll, I'm sure we'll f find some challenges in that, but um, uh, you know that's next week's worry. <laughs>